देखिए A few days later. I just got a call from the homeowner. He actually lives out of town and that's his parents' old house. He died a couple years ago and he comes back about once a month to check on it. Yeah, I'm excited to do this one. Let's go. Whoa. Guys, look what I found. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, my name is Spencer with SB Mowing and this is a really cool job I got to do because I was driving around with my wife and we came across this house. I walked up to the front door and knocked on it but nobody answered so I left a note. And I've done this with a lot of homes before but usually the homeowner never calls me back. Well, a few days later I got a random call on my phone and I answered it and it was the owner of this home. He said it was originally his parents' house, but they passed away a couple years ago. He lives out of town, but he tries to keep tabs on it, so he comes back into town about once a month and just drives by just to check out how it's doing. He saw my flyer in the door and went up and grabbed it and gave me a call, and now I'm here mowing it. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button for me and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, as it's the best way to support this work that I'm doing. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing, out. Looks like after we clean up this edge right here, we're going to have to take a pause on the edge and get this big log out of the way. Guys, look what I found. I want to give a huge shout out and big thank you to some huge supporters of mine and today's video sponsor, Raycon. The reason I took this sponsorship is because I'm so excited to start using these Raycon earbuds and get rid of those disposable ones that you usually see me wear. And not only do I use these while I'm out working, but when I get home, I use them to edit videos like the one you're watching right now. But there's two different things that I've had issues with in the past when trying to find earbuds and Raycon has solved both of those. They offer 8 hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life, so I can use them all day while working without worrying about having to charge them. And the most important thing to me is that they fit perfectly in my ears. They come with 5 gel tips, are super comfortable, and will never move or fall out when I'm doing the craziest jobs. They are also sweat and water resistant, so I can use them when I get caught in the rain or when I accidentally leave them in my pocket at the end of the day. Did I also mention that everything is controlled by touch, such as taking calls, switching tracks, volume, and my favorite, which is the noise isolation mode. This means that I'm totally immersed with what I'm doing and block out all outside noise. And when I'm ready for this feature to be off, like when my wife is trying to talk to me, I hold down the right button for three seconds and enter awareness mode, where I can hear what's going on around me while I'm working. Luckily for you guys, you can go click on the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash sbmowing to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. By ordering Raycons, you are directly supporting me and my channel as I do these transformations absolutely free for the homeowners. Thank you to Raycon, and let's get back to this transformation. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys know how this works. There's always poison ivy on the property somewhere that I work on. And on this one, it's not very bad. It's uh, just this very back part of the fence line. So I can go all the way up to about here. And as you can see, this is poison ivy. Leaves of three, let it be. It's got a little thumb on it. Don't be dumb. It's poison ivy. We're not going to even touch that. Not worth my health. So we're going to get everything else cleaned up except that and make this look amazing. Let's go. All right, we just got the trees cleaned up and I just spoke with the homeowner. And basically I can take whatever I want out of the garden. He doesn't really care. There's a rose bush over here I'm gonna leave. Everything else is volunteer um, trees and then a bunch of the longer oriental grass. We're just grass. We're just gonna cut that down and it'll grow back eventually. But we just wanna clean the whole property up. So we're gonna leave that rose bush and get everything else out of there. <laughs> There's a bunch of dirt on top of this tarp, so we're just gonna leave it there. Thank <laughs> you. 
We got kind of a live rose bush here, so we're gonna just leave it. I don't like cutting down things unless I have to. Oh, 
Guys, it's five o'clock and we finally got finished. We got here at like 9 a.m., so nine to five. It's my nine to five job. So we're gonna actually call the homeowner. This is technically his house, but it was his parents' house and they died a few years ago. And he lives out of town, so he he comes down and checks out like once a month. So that's how it's really gotten out of shape so bad. So we're gonna send him, uh, send the homeowner some pictures and see what he thinks of it. Let's do it. Hey, this is Spencer. Um, just wanted to give you a quick call and let you know that I'm finished out here. I sent you some pictures just so you can see what it looks like, so you don't have to drive out here. I know you're out of town. So much better. I really appreciate the work you've done. Yeah, I'm happy to help out. Thank you, Spencer. God bless you. Yeah, God, God bless you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Let's go. This was a really hard one and a hot day. Not my favorite one to do just because of how... Uh, just rough everything was, uh, but it came out looking real nice, so we'll see you guys next Friday.